Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a leader stats show in a GUI. So for starters, we're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are open. If Explorer and Properties are not open, we want to head to the top bar here, click on View, and enable Explorer and Properties. So in this tutorial, we will be adding on to the previous video I made on how to make a part give you currency. If you want to learn how to make a part actually give you currency, which will be used in this video, Make sure to go watch that video, it will be linked in the info card just above here and also at the end screen. So what you want to do now, you want to go and get your coin that you have made earlier, either on your base play or in any, anywhere, but I've got my coin here with the script already inside. If you do not have any of this coin made, make sure to go watch my previous video, how to make a part give you currency and that will make you set up your, your coin here. So now that you've inserted your coin or created your coin, you want to head over to Explorer, click on Service Script Service, and then click on the plus button, insert a script. Then you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code, it's called Script1. These are going to be the leader stats. Keep in mind, if you already have leader stats for your game, all you want to do, you just want to make an additional leader stats, or you want to change up what your current leader start stats are. If you need some help with this, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But here we go, because we are in a new base plate, we are adding our leader stats, which are going to be coins. So now that we've inserted our leader stats, we wanna go up here, click on the X button. And now we wanna make our UI, which is going to be holding the amount of leader stats we have. Because basically what we are going to have, we're gonna have a small UI over here, which says we have maybe 55 coins or two coins, something like that. So what we're going to want to do, we're going to want to head over to start a GUI in Explorer, click on the plus button and insert a screen GUI. Keep in mind, you can rename the screen GUI to whatever you want. Then click on the screen GUI plus button and then you want to insert a text label. Keep in mind, you can customize this to however you would like. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to be using a pretty standard label just here. And then what you want to do is we want to click on the plus button next to the text label and insert a script. So once you've inserted all those things into the starter GUI, we want to go up here and click the X button next to our local script. And now we want to go and customize this button or this text label. So you can change the text, size the text up, change the font. For this tutorial, we're just going to leave the text as label. As one you join into the game, it will be showing your leader stats instead of this text. So let's just go scale it up here. You can customize it to whatever you want. And if you want to make it have curved sides, an easy way to do this is click on the plus button next to the text label and insert a UI corner, just like that. And you can adjust the UI corner by the corner radius over here. As you guys can see, now this uh, label has more of a curved corner. So once you've finished adjusting your text label, you wanna head over to the local script in our text label. We wanna click on that. And then we wanna remove all the previous code then you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste script 2. It'll probably be named something like text label local script script. And you want to copy that and bring that back to Roblox Studio and paste it in. So now that you've inserted the code, we don't really need to change anything. Only if you want your currency to be named something else, for example, cash. You just want to change this because this is going to be the text which shows on our label here. But after you've gone and adjusted anything you want to, you want to go and click on the X button up here. And let's go test it out by clicking on play. As you guys can see, we have loaded into the base plate and we currently have zero coins. And there's our leader stats. Here's our coin. And as you guys can see, it says coins equals or coins dot dot zero, basically meaning that we have no coins here. If you do not want um, it to say coins here, all you do, you just go back to your started UI. Obviously you want to do this out of test mode and then you want to go over here and you want to remove where it says coins just like that but for this tutorial we'll be keeping the coins so now let's go and close that and if we go and run into a part as you guys can see we have been given one coin and also down here we have been given one coin and if we go run into our coin again we'll be given two coins and now two coins also up there if you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing feel free to send me a message on discord and i'll happily help you out but anyway guys, I'm going to wrap the video here. If you did enjoy it, I'd appreciate it if you do consider liking the video and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway guys, have a lovely rest of the day and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.